Hi, I'm Maya. What's your name? I love your name. Come meet my friend Scott. He's a snake, and he's feeling sad today. He hasn't found any other animals in the forest that look like him. Will you join Scott as he looks for other animals like himself in the forest? Great! Come on! Scott sighed. He had lived in the forest for a whole month. He had yet to find any animals like himself. Don't be sad, Scott, his mother said. You'll find someone like you. Go out and talk to the animals that you meet. I guess I could do that, Scott sighed. He slithered out of the house to explore. Scott's first stop was the pond. There he met Frankie the fish. Scott noticed that Frankie the fish didn't have any legs, just like him. Hey, you're like me, Scott said. You don't have legs. And you have scales like me, too. That's right. We have something in common, Frankie said. We're still different because I swim and you slither. Scott said goodbye to Frankie and crawled away. Soon he came upon Alice the alligator. You're not like me because you have legs, Scott said. True, Alice replied. But I have scales like you and I can crawl. We're not as different as you think. Scott said goodbye to Alice and crawled away. He climbed up a tall tree to get a better view of the forest. There he met Marco the monkey. Well, you're definitely not like me, Scott said. You have four legs, fur, and a tail. Plus, you can walk. You're right, but we have one thing in common, Marco said. We both can climb. Also in the tree was Betty the bat. Did you climb this tree too? asked Scott. No, I have wings and I flew to this tree, Betty said. I have two legs and fur too. I am not like you. Scott climbed down from the tree and crawled through more of the forest. He decided to rest on what he thought was a large furry rock. Hey, what do you think you're doing? The rock said as Scott was crawling on top of it. I didn't know rocks could talk, Scott said surprised. I'm not a rock. I'm Benny the Bear, he said. Oh, I'm sorry, Scott replied. I thought you were a rock. I've been crawling through the forest looking for animals like me, and I was going to stop and rest. Well, I have fur, four legs, and I walk. I am definitely not a rock. And I am also not like you, Benny said. Sorry to bother you, Scott said. It's okay, Benny said. Hey, have you met my friend Patty the Python yet? No, I haven't met any pythons, Scott replied. Benny told Scott to stay there while he went to get his friend. When he came back, Patty the Python was following him. Scott's eyes lit up. You don't have any legs. You crawl, and you have scales, Scott said excitedly. You're like me. That's right. I'm a snake just like you, Patty replied. Scott, Patty, and Benny played together all day. Betty, Marco, and Alice joined them, too. When Scott got home later, his mom asked if he had found what he was looking for. Yes, I met a python named Patty. She was just like me, Scott said. But I also met a bear named Benny, a monkey named Marco, 
a bat named Betty, an alligator named Alice, and a fish named Frankie. Scott continued. Even though they weren't like me, they were fun to play with. I'm glad you had a fun day, Scott, his mother said. I sure did, Scott said. I can't wait to play with Patty and my other new friends again tomorrow.